Good evening to you, and the best of brass tonight is miles apart. The combatants, champions of the West and of the North, have journeyed the length of England virtually to lay about each other on this neutral jousting ground here at the Assembly Rooms in Derby. They're battling hard as they are going to go, not for the hand of a fair damsel, though. There is a special one around, you'll see her later, but for the glory of our title and the £1,000 first prize. The Oldbourne Band, West of England champions, are up from Wiltshire to tilt at the Northern champions, the Berwick Everready Band, from County Durham. Now, it's the first time Oldbourne have been in Best of Brass, so maybe it's a bit rash of them to throw the gauntlet around at somebody like Everready. They're the only band who've been ever present in all four years of the competition. Not, though, that that will sway the favour of the man who awards the honours. He's our adjudicator, Colonel Trevor Sharp. Now, he used to be Director of Music at the Royal Military School of Music, and his marks go strictly on musical precision and interpretation. Anyway, we know that everybody at home will keep cool heads when we ask for votes on the best soloist. That'll be later in the series. Let's get on with it. Now, totally in keeping with this pageantry of battle, Oldbourne are going to open with Prelude for an occasion. But here's their travelling herald to sound off more about them, David Freeman from BBC Radio Oxford. Thank David, you, David, tell us more about your band. Yes, I will, gladly. The home of the Oldbourne band is a village between Swindon and Hungerford that nestles picturesquely in the folds of the Wiltshire Downs. This band are completely self-supporting, and all their impetus comes from their own enthusiasm. Their allegiance is to themselves, and believe me, they play to win. They've won many, many trophies in their 80-year history, including Radio Oxford's own Brass Bound competition, which they've won five times. But believe me, they're a band to be reckoned with, as you will hear as they play Edward Gregson's very demanding piece, Prelude for an Occasion. <laughs> Thank you. 
prelude for an occasion. And now the Oldbourne Band are going to play one of their spe specialities. It features John Chesterman, the principal cornet player, who in this tune shows his versatility by doubling on post horn. Stand by for the Oxford Flyer. Wow, the Oxford Flyer, arranged by Eric Ball, with John Chesterman providing the fireworks. Now, a tune written by the man who wrote Grandad, who is now the bass player with Sky. This is an arrangement by Denzel Stevens, who we saw last week conducting the Corey Band, of Herbie Flowers' tune, Carillon.
Carolyn. And now the ultimate number from the Oldbourne Band. They're going to conclude with a traditional piece arranged by Gordon Langford. The sentiment of the title is fine, but I think the tense is wrong. I think they're already shining, but listen to the glow as they play Our Boys Will Shine Tonight. <laughs> Well, the boys from Oldburn shining bright. Will the dazzle blind our adjudicator to the fact that their opponents were runners-up in Best of Brass last year and they've been in this competition every year since it started? On top of that, the Berwick Ever Ready Band have been Northern champions 13 times in 14 years, but they still have to pull out all the vowels during the next 12 minutes to get to our semi-finals. And here's that damsel I mentioned, Marion Foster, a Geordie from Pebble Mill, to make damsel sure they do. Oh, what a <laughs> terrible <laughs> pun. You know, we got pipped at the post by one point last year. So tonight, we're in true fighting mood. We've every right to be proud of our brass bands in the Northeast. After all, it was on Tyneside itself that the brass band tradition began over 150 years ago. Then no self-respecting colliery or company was without its own band, the true pride and joy of every community and family. Sadly, most of them have disappeared with the end of the mines, but not all. The Berwick Band lives on with a new name and a new company, but still with that proud tradition of excellence that made it one of the Northeast's most successful bands when it belonged to the Craghead Colliery. Well, 13 years ago, the Craghead closed, but the band and many of the miners were re-employed by a new Everready factory nearby. A happy union that was rewarded when the band immediately became the regional champions, and has uh, been so ever since. So, now that they're under marching orders, all that's left for me to say is, away the lads, and everybody else, sit up please, pay attention and enjoy the President's March by William German, the Berwick Band. <laughs> Thank you. 
flamboyant American showpiece, the President's March by William German. But now we have a total change of mood and continent as we turn to a piece that's become a well-loved classic in recent years. Eric Satie, half Scottish, half French, was a whimsical composer who loved to give his music eccentric titles. A true individualist, music for him had to comfort the listener like an easy chair and create an atmosphere that evoked pictures and moods in a simple, unselfconscious way. It's not surprising, he was one of the cinema's earliest composers. But his simplicity is deceptive. It demands skill, balance, supreme control and musicality from the players, especially in this sad, haunting and most beautiful piece, Gymnopedy.
the Barrack Everready Band playing Eric Satie's magical Gymnopédie. But now it's time for our soloist to take the stand, cornet player Brian Tate, now in his first year as principal cornet player of the band. Well, hoping that luck will be a lady tonight, Brian has chosen Ida Mar's piece Cleopatra. When you hear the speed of his playing, I defy you not to be out of breath by the time he finishes, for I think Cleopatra has met her match. <laughs> See what I mean? It's a wonder he doesn't have lockjaw after all that. The virtuoso cornet playing of Brian Tate. But the Berwick Everready Band is full of virtuosos, and when they play as a team, the result is stunning. Hear for yourself now as we end our half of the programme in regal style. Only this time the honoured lady is a huntress. The composer is the celebrated Leo Delib, the father of modern ballet. This final piece is typical of his work and really brings out the musical skills of each section of the band. From his ballet, Sylvia, the entry of the Huntress. <laughs>
The entry of the Huntress, enter Trevor Sharp, exit one of those bands. What did you think about Oldburn, first of all, Trevor? Um, well, there's no doubt. My, I, I'm very impressed, in fact, with the way you can hear this band is so well trained. Um, there's a great attention to detail. I thought there was a, a lack of, you know, full tone right through the band, and, it, and the band got a wee bit heavy at the bottom at times. Uh, the prelude was very nicely played. I saw some very good cornet and youth playing there, and good, good percussion. Um, quite virile playing with good expression. And then we went on to the soloist, the Oxford Flyer. Didn't we just? And didn't we just? Yes, I thought that was absolutely superb. Really, it was very, very well played. It was the big finish, but so very ever ready had a big finish too. Let's go down yeah. to them now. Mm. Yeah. Well, here's a band with a very good tone right way through it. You know, it's, um, you can hear the quality of tone, although at times, and I know they might not like me saying, but I thought the bases of, of the Every, River Red Band weren't quite, you know, absolutely clear. Um, Cleopatra was, was quite nice, actually. I think Brian Tate might say he, he, could, he, he played it bef better before sometimes. You'll give him the needle. <laughs> Let's hear how you rated them with your marks. Well, I gave Aldbourne, Aldbourne 89 marks and the Thoroughbreds Ever Ready 92. Well, thanks again, Trevor. We have now our first two finalists, the GUS band and now Berwick Everready. Next week, though, Whitburn Borough, the Scottish champions against Bessers of the Barn, and they're from the North West. Do join us then. Till then, good night. <laughs>